Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Это Слит. And today I wanted to bring you guys a video where I discuss 10 meaningful things I want to achieve before I die. Now these items are some of the stuff from my bucket list and I feel like these to me are like the most meaningful out of the whole lot. So I decided that I would share them on YouTube because why not? What else am I going to do with my time? The first one I have on this list is to climb Mount Everest. I feel like that's something I would love to do in my 50s, late 50s. I plan to be someone who's very fit and very healthy uh, at some point in my life. <laughs> but I plan to be like very healthy and stuff and that's something I want to do towards my 50s late 60s not late 60s late 50s like from 55 onwards it's something i want to do once i have reached that age number two would be to become fluent in russian korean and sign language i am actually learning russian right now as you can tell by my intro every time i'm like hi guys i do that in russian uh only because i really really love the Russian language, Russian culture. Anybody who knows me knows that I wanna live there, you know, I wanna be, no mind. But anyway, um, Korean, I really fell in love with Korean from some YouTubers I used to watch back in the day. And then just from that experience and watching their lives, how they live in Korea and everything, I learned a lot about the culture, about the language and stuff like that. So that's another language I want to learn. And number three is sign language. I feel like there's so much more to learn from people, um, from cultures, and just from different people around the world. And to be able to communicate with someone who can't speak or uh, who can't hear you, it's basically the same thing. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's very important because I really love hearing P, uh, different people's life experiences and being able to commute commute being able to communicate with people who use sign language is one of the things that I would love to do number three would be to plant at least 500 trees and I feel like 500 is quite the low number I would love to plant even a thousand trees or even five thousand trees um i am very passionate about nature about wildlife wildlife and everything that has to do with preserving our earth and just making the best of what we have right now and it's really important to me to kind of attempt to save the earth for the future generation and so planting trees is something i really want to get into um i feel like when my life transitions into me working and me uh, supporting myself and doing all of those things, then I'll have the opportunity to just get up and go and go plant trees somewhere on the weekend. So I want to start doing that very soon. Number four, I want to write an autobiography. I have lived, okay? I have lived. I have lived, honey. Uh, in my short 22 years, I've experienced a lot, um, good, bad, ugly, all of it, and I feel like one day, and I don't want to write this book now, or write it in my 30s or in my 40s, it's something I want to do in my 60s when I'm really, really old and really, really seasoned, and I'm able to look back at my entire life, how every experience, how every situation, like people that I've met, how everything has impacted my life and I'd love to write an autobiography and put it all out there. <laughs> Number five is open up a group home safe haven for abused kids. I don't know really how to explain this but one of the things that I've wanted to do literally since I was like 12 years old um, is to have a group home for kids who are in abusive households who are abandoned who are homeless um, all of that type of things um, and this is specifically aimed towards teenagers so when I start my billionaire life <laughs> 
Like it's really something I want to do. I want to open up group, group homes, um, whatever home you live in. If I'm still living in South Africa, I'll do it in South Africa. If not, whatever. But I want to open up group homes specifically like in parts of the country, let me say, where um, teenagers can come live scot-free. They'll have access to education, to clean clothes, sanitary stuff, all of that type of stuff where they just get to live until they're 18, until they're ready, not even 18, until I feel like they're ready to go out there and like be functioning members of society. So I want to open up a group home and have these teenagers live in like a solid environment where they have access to education, um, resources, um, everything they need to go out there and live and yeah. What I want to do number six become a licensed clinical psychologist who right now I am in IT I am studying IT I am that's my profession at the moment ATM that's my profession at the moment but something I've always wanted to do and something that I actually wanted to do straight out of high school but I decided against it because I feel like I am not ready to take on that right now it's something I want to start studying for in my 30s um, I'm gonna go back to school in my 30s and study to be a clinical psychologist only because I feel like right now I am so young that even if I study the work and even if I know what to do how to do it and when to do it I feel like it won't be enough for me to actually sit down with someone and help them through whatever they're going through so for me it's really important to live as I've said I want to be seasoned I want to be more mature I want to be I want to learn more I want to read more it shouldn't be I don't want what I know to be based only off of my textbooks but I want everything I know to be based off my life experiences textbook and the study of the human mind and everybody else and I feel like once I'm in my 30s and I'm married and I've had children and like I've done the whole lot I feel like I can look back and be like okay now I have all of these experiences under my belt I can really look at the world differently and look at everything differently and be like okay so let's do it so definitely in my 30s I want to become a clinical psychologist and I will study for it and I'll become a clinical psychologist and then well into my 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever. Number seven, I want to uh, I want to, 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 to I want to do TED Talks. Um if you are familiar with TED Talks then you know let people go on stage and they talk about various topics like it could be mental health, it could be um social media like it it, it it varies and i want to be the person who does ted talks and i want to do them i want to do at least three ted talks per year on different topics i am passionate about mental health issues i'm i'm passionate about the earth i'm passionate like about so many things and i feel like i have so much knowledge to share and to just speak and impact people and I feel like I'd be great at that almost so in the oncoming years I really want to get into doing TED Talks um, into getting getting into doing all of that I cannot speak but yeah I want to do that number eight uh, professional wait what's that right oh yeah I want to be a professional uh, network photographer <laughs> you guys I'm actually studying for an exam so all I can think about literally is computer hardware and right now I just said a network photographer no I want to be a nature photographer I am a nature photographer now obviously I'm an amateur native for nature nature photographer but I really want to get into it as a profession and I want to build my name up I want to go around the world in these forests taking pictures of these amazing plants and amazing wildlife that we hardly get to see and that is something that's very very close to my heart so I want to do that number nine humani humani 
Number nine, humanitarian work around the world. I am passionate about helping people. I am passionate about making a difference. And I am passionate about doing things that matter. Um, right now my life is like so focused around school and so focused around YouTube and stuff like that but in the great beyond to in a world in a perfect world where I have a job and I have money and I have resources resources is it's, it's a place where I feel like I am an at an advantage to help people and I want to do humanitarian work around the world I want to travel do things that have to do with wildlife with children abroad um social issues that have to do with women like i want to do a lot of stuff like that of course and i feel like once i have the resources available i'm going to jump straight into that um number 10 which is the last one i want to start a non-profit organization for free mental health care as I said before, I am very, very passionate about mental health um, issues, the stigma, you know, becoming better, becoming like an awesome version of yourself and everything. And what I've seen, from what I've seen in my country, there is a lack of free mental health care. Of course, there is um, government provided mental health care, but that's literally the bottom of the barrel. If you work there, sorry, but I don't care. This is from my experience. But I feel like if I, in my capacity, can start a nonprofit organization where I have these professionals that I am personally paying or um, that my sponsors or whoever is paying them to offer free mental health care to people, that would be amazing because I feel like if people are being paid what they deserve, they'll do their job like 10 times better. So for me, it is important to start something like that where I have real professionals and not like um, psychology students or anything, but like to have actual professions who have been in the field for years and who are helping kids, teenagers, adults, you name it, who are helping them scot-free and helping create the world a better place. So I really, 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 really want to do that. And that is it for my list of the 10 meaningful things I would like to do before I die. And yeah, so that's, that's just a little bit more about me and who I am and the things I deem important in my life. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe to my, to my channel for more content and we'll see each other in my next video. Bye. Trying another thumbnail, yeah. Let us try another thumbnail. Let us try for another thumbnail. Let us try. Let us try for another thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us try. Now what?